so you're fortifying the border, the boundary, uh, India-China. So does that make China now the biggest threat to India? Are we in a state of of a quasi war like situation no, conflict like situation no, no, look, where are we no no I, I i first of all i'm not using the word we fortifying it i think we are legitimately building our border infrastructure because they have built their border infrastructure in my view we should have done it 25 years ago again we are reactive that means i mean your look, words no no, Dr. no no not at all look they are the bigger economy hmm. i mean what am i going to do as a smaller economy i'm going to uh, sort of uh, go pick a fight with a bigger economy. Hmm. It's not a question of reactive, it's a question of having common sense. So, secondly, please bear in mind one thing. We had an agreement that you're not supposed to bring military to the, uh, uh, to the, to the border in large numbers. So, by that logic of yours, I should be the first to break the agreement. Why not? No, why, why, should, why should I? Because it doesn't make... Look, please understand... Why are we always no, the ones not breaking an agreement and it's always no, the other side no, breaking no, the no, agreement? No, Smita, I, I, I think you need you need to uh, sort of take a very... Uh, okay, non-aggressive... No, 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 no. <laughs> considered view of this. Okay. We don't... Re why do we reach agreements? We reach agreements because it is in our interest to stabilize a border or a situation. Okay. It's not out of love and affection uh, and sentiment that you do. It's, it's cold calculation and common sense okay our agreements with china were reached in 1993 96 i'm not even getting into which government etc i mm. i think i try to avoid this this whole debate okay you know i don't like in foreign policy maybe it is because i've been myself so long in this field mm. i don't like to necessarily say these people were right and those people are wrong i don't don't think it serves the nation well okay but if i do find that others are playing a political game where everything is being blamed on the present dispensation and entire history is being whitewashed. I think the history has to come out. Okay. Now, on uh, the, the question of breaking the agreement or not breaking the agreement, generally countries as a rule, uh, sensible countries do not because what do you need most in international? If you have a reputation as a country which breaks agreement, what do you think is the worth of your agreement? That is China. Where have they kept the agreement with any country? No, no. Look, no, no, hello. From or Pakistan for that from, matter. From 1993, 1996. Okay, not a single bullet. No, okay. no, no, forget bullet. From 93, 96 till 2020. Was that agreement observed or not? Hmm. So how can you say, you know, the agreement is not worth a piece of paper and nothing. All agreements must be They broken. took Aksai no. Chin. 1962. 62. Hmm. Between, they took Aksai Chin between 1958 and 1962. Okay. So, if you didn't need agreements, why did you sign them? I mean, you went in 1988. I mean, Rajiv Gandhi went to Beijing in 1988. 88, correct. Okay. December. You signed agreements in 93, 96. I don't think signing those agreements was wrong. I, I disagree with you. Hmm. I mean, and this is not a political point I'm making. Okay. I think those agreements were signed because at that time we needed to stabilize the border. And they did stabilize the border. Please also note that. So this idea, suggestion of yours that people sign and compulsively break the next day, that's not true. Hmm. Now, why can't we not? Why can we not come to an agreement on where is the boundary? Where? How many rounds of talks? And it doesn't. It's non-conclusive. Because when uh, people are the the claims when any other country's claims are not reasonable. You will not come to agreement. I mean, you and I can come to an agreement if I make claims on you which are not reasonable, but you will concede it because 25 rounds have happened. Hmm. You have to look at, you know, what is what is being discussed as well, no? Right. So, okay. So, look, uh, you know, if I were to sum up the China thing, I mean, please do not, you know, buy this, this whole, uh, I would say, again, I use this word, this, this narrative that somewhere government is on the defensive, you know, somewhere we are being accommodative. I mean, I ask people, if we were being accommodative, who sent the Indian army to the LSE? Rahul Gandhi didn't send them. Narendra Modi sent them. Okay. We have today the largest peacetime deployment in our history on the China border. Okay. And we are keeping troops there at a huge cost with great effort. We have increased our infrastructure spending on the border five times in this comment. So now tell me who's the 
defensive accommodative person in fact the question you should ask is who is actually uh, telling the truth who is depicting things accurately who is playing uh, footsie with history i think those are the questions which should be asked